Yeah, so good evening Italy. Uh, this is Finland calling. Um, first off, Hanna can't be here with us tonight, so I'll have to cover. I'm the one who wrote the poem after all. Our whole work group consists of me, the actor and the poet, and uh, the set Hanna Mari Ihalainen, who is the director as well as the videographer. Uh, Lotta Albeck dropped the last cherry on the top of our work by composing the music for our piece. <clears throat> the idea, or a seed, if you will, to this poem came one day in a daily trip with the metro. I was idly watching all the advertisements to my right, while constant stream of everyday people went by to my left. I stopped to wonder if I ever really looked to the left that much. When was the last time that I just watched the actual people, wondering how they might be, how their day might be? Why do I keep my eyes in the advert fantasy land instead of real human beings? As lights as flashes tells us a story of a man who falls in love with the abstract notion of the woman in the ads, the women laughing alone with their salads or what not. This love is shy and distant at first. However, the man reaches out for his love to the ad fantasy realm, beginning his metamorphosis to become an ad himself, and the attraction grows fierce and erotic. But how does this all fit into the theme of the new abandoned places? <clears throat> what is abandoned? First, the individual, the human, is left behind in favor of something imagined and engineered to perfection. Our hero leaves his own individuality behind in favor of this perfection, sacrificing his authenticity in favor of aesthetics demanded by someone else. Second, by falling in love with an abstract image, he also abandons his bedroom. No partner will touch him, kiss him, caress him until he comes home from this voyage. It's been studied um, that these days uh, people in the Western world are having less and less sex every year. Are these themes somehow connected? Coincidentally, Hanna is actually writing her master's thesis about the subject as we speak. So, <clears throat> my message to the world is to remember to love something real and be fierce about it. Yeah, finally, I am jealous of you all who can be there to attend your magnificent festival. Have a good evening. Finland out. <clears throat>